Now, Cap gave you first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Kristen Walls. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Now, if you're getting ready to hit the road in the next uh, hour or so, especially around the Tri-Cities, just a heads up, we are looking at some patchy fog, patchy freezing fog developing, so maybe even a few slick spots for your commute to work. Visibilities, at least from this view, uh, Richland's Columbia Point, not the best, down to one to two miles in spots. So here's what we can expect for today. We will have more changes. Clouds already starting to build in, but the dry morning commute, uh, it's mainly later on this afternoon that we'll really see a few showers popping up across the area. But let's get you over to some of those current temperatures right now. Really down to 26 in the Tri-Cities, just above freezing in Walla Walla with 30 for Hermiston, 26 over into Yakima. And since many locations are below freezing, when we have some of the fog, again, below freezing could lead to a few slick spots. Visibilities in the Tri-Cities now at 7, 7 miles in Pendleton, and maybe even a little bit of some patchy fog uh, developing around the Hermiston area this morning. So there are the clouds building in from the west. The rain chance is still back through the Cascades and into Seattle this morning. Morning. It's this system that'll bring us some of those rain showers for mainly the second half of the day today. So here's future cast again, a dry start early this morning, but we may see a few showers starting to build into the Yakima and the Kittitas Valley 10 11 o'clock this morning, arriving in the Tri Cities now two, three o'clock in the afternoon, and then this should quickly be pushing out of here by six or seven o'clock. So later on this evening, back to some drier weather with the exception around Cleelum and the eastern slope, still a few showers left over uh, for you, but again, and the majority of the area not looking at a whole lot of wet weather, but you're just going to want to have that umbrella nearby. Wednesday back to a partly sunny sky, and we are looking at a fairly mild day on Wednesday as those winds pick up. Upper 60s, low 70s across the area, and then another rain chance starts to spill in here for Thursday. I think Thursday will be a better chance to see certainly see soggy weather all across the area. So don't put away that umbrella uh, just yet. So Thursday into early Friday, more rain showers. Wind speeds for today will be generally light out the door this morning between 3 to 5. But as we take you throughout especially your Wednesday afternoon. That's when those winds will pick up 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts by Wednesday middle of the day and into the afternoon. So that's going to be accompanied uh, by some of those mild temperatures in the low 70s. So highs out there for today, 57 for Yakima with 54 in Ellensburg. Uh, Tri-Cities today jumping up to about 61, 60 degrees for Hermiston, and then those low 60s as well for Prosser, 60 degrees into Walla Walla. So overnight tonight, we're going to dry things out, still mostly cloudy sky, but above freezing, upper 30s and low 40s. There's a look ahead to your seven day with that mild day tomorrow as those winds pick up, 72 tomorrow, but the rain chances build back in Thursday and Friday. And we're going to see uh, at least some chilly temperatures over the weekend with 45 Saturday, 42 degrees on Sunday. And then that seven day forecast in Yakima, also looking at those winds picking up Wednesday at 67. We'll have those rain showers Thursday and Friday and then back to some sun over the weekend, especially on Sunday with a high of 43.